Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Monday Motivation BeFit Live. We are here with our BeFit Ambassador, Roy Montez, and with him, we also have Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, and they are prepared to take you guys through a good workout. So I hope you're ready to put in some work and get moving with Roy and Sergeant Barry. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing today? Morning. Good. Good. Happy Monday. Good. good. I know. Happy Monday. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's good to be back and it's good to uh, kick off the week strong and get the body moving. And um, that's what we're looking to do today. Uh, again, if, if you're tuning in uh, this Monday, we're going to be building off the previous Mondays that we've had workouts and just building off of what we've learned, what, we're, what, what our strengths are, how we're progressing forward. And this week, uh, it brings my workout indoors. If you saw the last, my environment is a little different today, but nice and comfortable. The idea is that we're, we're moving, we're staying active, we're working on fitness and our health and our wellness. And these are exercises that we're bringing today, bringing to you today that you can do and accomplish anywhere, whether it's indoors, like Sergeant Barry and I are, whether you're outdoors, if uh, weather permits, if you're in a uh, fitness facility of some sort, if you have more equipment that you're able to access, uh, that is great. And these workouts can be included in any one of these environments. And today, today we're, we're starting off with some fun uh, exercises that we're going to be incorporating some resistance, uh, anything from water bottles to uh, if you have resistance bands or, or items with a handle, uh, those will be great to include uh, during some of these workouts. So we're going to go through a few today, uh, four workouts. We're going to go through four workouts with 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And then at the end of each round, we're going to have one minute of rest. Uh, and then we're going to go back to the top starting off. And so our set number one are going to be lateral squats with a leg raise. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna stand uh, more than shoulder width apart. You are going to squat down into onto your left or right leg, uh, really absorbing your weight onto your quad here. And then you're going to swing your momentum up into a leg raise. And this is gonna really work on core stability, on your, um, your balancing on your foot. And you're gonna really work those small muscle fibers, as well as some of your large muscle groups that you're gonna incorporate from your glutes to your quads, your hamstrings, and your core stability. Set number two, exercise number two, is gonna be a half knee, single arm shoulder press. So we're gonna get down into a, um, into a, uh, a half knee, into a, a standing position, sorry. And we are going to uh, come up, we'll rack some sort of resistance, whether it's water, or a dumbbell if you have that uh, in, your, uh, in your possession. And you will rack the right here, uh, right? So if your left knee is up, your left arm is gonna be up and you're just gonna shoulder press up here. So you'll grab it as if you will a water bottle here. You'll grab that in a neutral grip position and you'll just press up here, all the while keeping your shoulders and your torso nice and straight your legs are gonna be bent at a 90 degree and you're gonna press up like this. So really activating your shoulder, your, uh, your head of your shoulder here and working on that shoulder strength. Your bent over row is gonna be our third exercise. We're going to uh, bend over, hinge at the hips here. You wanna soft bend at the knees and you will grab any type of resistance here, whether it's water bottles or anything with the handle here. And you will have a neutral grip, which means you're just going to, your palms are going to be facing each other and you are going to row and tuck your elbows in nice and tight at a 90 degrees close to your body there. There, nice. Sergeant Barry, that's correct. And our fourth set is going to be a Russian twist. So we are going to get down on our floor here and really isolate our core strength and stability. We are going to keep our heels on the floor, our torso at a 45 degree angle here. You wanna keep your core nice and tight, engaged, and we are just gonna rotate from our left hip to our right hip. Just like that, yes, ma'am. Nice. 
and we'll do that for our fourth set. And that will be one round and we'll repeat that four times. How does that sound, Sergeant Barry? Yeah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. All right, well, uh, before we get to work here, we're gonna start off with some dynamic stretching. So everyone at home, dynamic stretching is a little different than static stretching where we're just, um, you know, really bending over and hinging at the hips here. So for dynamic stretching, we're gonna be working out multiple muscle groups at a time. So let's start off with knee tuck. So we're gonna start off with our left leg. We're gonna clasp our hands together and really uh, bring our knees close to our chest here. And we're gonna rotate with the right, squeezing your knee to your chest. And you'll feel that uh, stretch in your psoas area, which will be your hip flexors here. We'll do about five of these. That's about three. There we go, four. And five here. All right, again, let's move on with hip mobility. We're gonna do hip circles. So we will rotate from inside to outside of our hips, nice and wide, just like Sergeant Barry and I are doing, nice and wide on our hips, really focusing on opening up our hips, working on our hip mobility, and just priming our body to get ready to work here. Good, these are some of my favorites, so I like to take my time with these. <laughs> One more set here. Okay, nice, nice. Now let's move from outward to inward. Same hip circles here, nice and wide, as if you were jumping over a hurdle. <laughs> And one more set here. Good, good, good. Okay, nice. Let's move over to our straight leg kicks or uh, what we would refer to as monster walks. So we are going to stand shoulder width apart. We are gonna straight leg kick, opposing hand and feet touch. There we go. We'll feel that stretch in our glute, lower glute and in our hamstring as well as getting our arms nice and straight and reaching out to our toes here. Again, incorporating our psoas, which is our hip flexors and our hips into that movement as well. Okay, now on to one of my personal favorites, Sergeant Barry, it's gonna be our squats here with our hands under our, or, I'm sorry, our fingers here under our toes. So we're gonna bend over here, try and keep a straight leg here, we are gonna reach down, touch our toes here, try and keep our hands underneath our toes and we're gonna go into a squat position, hinging at the hips, nice, nice. Keeping that chest nice and forward, nice and up. Extend all the way back out to the top and then repeat down to the bottom. What's great about this one is it's really working, again, on opening up our hips, getting ready for our hips in our bodies, in our lower body, in our, our core stability. Really working on getting us up and moving here. Nice. Two more here. One. Good, good, good. All right. Let's move into jacks. So let's do some jumping jacks here. We'll get the body nice and moving. We'll do about 10 of these. Pick up our heart rate. And good, and let's move into some high knees here. And butt kicks. Good, good, good. All right, let's grab a drink. I'll start my timer and let's get to work here. Leah, how are we doing? Hi, Roy, Hi. doing good? Good, good, let me just get my timer started here. We'll get a quick 
a quick drink. All right. Sergeant Barrow, we good to go? Let's do it. All right, 10 seconds lateral squat with leg raises. And five seconds here. And let's work. So lean over to the right and really work on stability here. Core straight. Raise that leg up nice. Little, little different at first. There we go. So lateral lunge out and then opposing leg up to a knee raise. There we go. Seven more seconds here. And time. Good, good, good. Okay, let's grab a resistance of some sort. So I'm gonna grab a, let's go with a water bottle here. Half knee raise in five. Let's rack it up to the top here and press. Nice, nice. Let's try and keep our arm at a 90 degree angle until you're extended up top. Your shoulders should be nice and square, straight facing ahead. Your head should be in a neutral position, all in a line with your, uh, with your neck, your spine, all the way to your tailbone here. All right, let's go ahead and switch over. Switch legs and arms. Good, good. Now your weight could be a lot heavier than mine, or if this is perfect for you, this is great. One more, and time. There's 20 seconds right there of rest. And let's move into our bent over row. So again, keeping with resistance here, I'm gonna grab a little bit of a heavier object here. So again, a gallon of water or detergent, anything like that. Luggage, if you have, let's bend, hip, hinge at the hips. Let's keep our core nice and stable, contracting our abs and row up here, nice. Sergeant Barry, you have two, so that's great. I'm going to switch midway to my left hand. And I'm gonna switch. Okay, so with this movement, you really wanna work, you really wanna focus on contracting your lat, which is the side of your back right here, just as if you're pulling open a door. Really focus on contracting that up top, squeeze, your shoulder blades together here and time. Good, good, 20 seconds of rest here. And we'll work, we'll go into our core work here with Russian twists. So again, seated, heels on the floor, body at a 45 degree angle here. And let's rotate from left to right starting now. All right, 30 seconds in here. 30 seconds, work left. Twenty seconds to go here, and we really want to work and focus on keeping our core nice and tight. Let's get those ab work. Those abs working here. Of course, we know abs are made in the kitchen. So 80 and 20, guys. 80% of your diet is gonna really bring out those abs. 20% here in the gym, at home and rest. But nutrition is key. Nutrition will really get your abs if you're looking to get your abs showing for the summer. In the kitchen, guys, in the kitchen. So 40, 45 seconds of uh, rest here, and then we'll start back up to the top. Roy, I just wanna share a comment. So Army MWR says, um, how Roy in exchange Change team. We are sharing this on our Facebook page. Um, stay healthy and safe, everyone. And then they also said, this looks like a great workout. Thank you so much, MWR. I know um, they've supported us for a long time and they've been with us for these Monday morning workouts, uh, which are very, very much appreciative. So we appreciate MWR. Thank you so much. And then Lateral. Sonia, you have someone named 
Phyllis Gilbert, who's saying hi. Hi, Sonia, watching from Louisiana. Yay, hi, Phyllis. Little, little gumbo after your workout today, huh? <laughs> Is that Roy approved gumbo? <laughs> you know, gumbo sounds really good right about now, especially for this post-workout meal. I think we may have earned it. All right, we should be working 15 more seconds here. Five more seconds. Keep your core nice and tight, stable. And one more here, just for good measure and rest. Okay, half knee, single arm press. Let's get down into that kneeling position. Again, I'll go with a handle object here. Five more seconds here, my knee, my left knee is up. So my right hand is gonna be, I'm sorry, my left hand is gonna be working here. Again, I like to keep my shoulders nice and square, facing forward. My head is in a neutral position, facing forward as well. And no matter the weight, focus on your top contraction here and you'll feel that shoulder press very top. This should be a nice, comfortable movement for you here. Nothing too aggressive, nice and slow, nice and controlled here. Great form is the way to go. Five more seconds. And time, good job. All right. All right, let's move over to a bent over row here. Let's go with a dumbbell. So if you have a dumbbell at home or the water bottles. And let's begin here. So again, hinge at the hips, shoulders are nice and square, arms drop down. Really feeling that stretch in your lat to where you isolate and contract at the top here. Down slowly, squeeze at the top nice and, nice and tight here. Keep your abs, your core engaged. Hinge at the hips. Should be a nice, strong position here. Now, next round, I'll show you an alternative, a regression to a bent over row and time. There you go, 20 seconds of rest here, Sergeant Barry. And we are gonna get down into a Russian twist with, with weight this time. So let's go ahead and incorporate water bottles or one. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it right in front of me and I'm gonna rotate just like we were doing here. There we go. Again, keeping our core engaged, keeping our back at a 45 degree angle and moving from hip to hip, left to right hip here. 20 more seconds of work here. Nice, nice. There you go. Good, good. Five more seconds of work. And time. All right, good job. Again, if, you're, uh, if your resistance is water, a water bottle, let's go ahead and drink some of our weight here and stay hydrated. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> it, the, <laughs> the benefits of home workouts here. <laughs> <laughs> The more you work out, the lighter your load gets, right? <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> By the end, you're lucky if you have anything to lift here. Mm. All right, 20 more seconds here. And we'll go into a lateral squat with leg raise. And again, if you wanted to make this more challenging, you could grab any type of resistance weight, whether it be a dumbbell, a water, a water bottle, or um, anything like that and you can hold it out in front of you like a goblet position here. And we will lean to the side and let's 40 seconds of work here. Come up. So this is really working the three planes here to where you're able to lateral move side to side. It's nice and controlled. 
all the while balancing up. There we go. You make the balancing up sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot of stability here. So two more seconds here. So if we wanted to, we'll go into a half knee in one second, but uh, 20 seconds of rest here, Sergeant Barry. And if we wanted to um, regress that move, we can actually just rotate lateral squat side to side here. That would be a great alternative if you can't pivot up into a leg race. Okay, half knee. Thanks Shoulder for that, Roy. Here. I know that's probably helpful for, for many, especially me. <laughs> you know, all, all of these exercises can be modified to regress to your um, abilities. So if you are not at a dumbbell strength or, 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 or you know, uh, skill set here, then we can always regress to something a little more, uh, a little less challenging here for you to be able to do. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, time. Good, good. Good work, Sergeant Barry. Okay, let's move over to our bent over row. Here's a great modification for our bent over row. If you have a band like this, three more seconds here. We'll get down into the ground position here and we'll pick up the slack here on my band and we'll work just like this. So we're really focusing on that 90 degree elbow here, really tucking in at your body, close to your body here and contracting all the way at the end here. 15 more seconds. And if you had a resistance band like such, again, we can go ahead and do that same movement standing up here. Three more seconds. And rest. 20 more seconds, 20 seconds of rest here. Good, good. All right. Russian twist here for our third set. <clears throat> we grab some weight here with the handle and let's work here. 40 seconds of work. I'm adding resistance. And if I wanted to progress this Russian twist here, I can lift my feet off the floor, keep them together while still twisting here. My weight feels a little lighter, <laughs> but I do feel hydrated, so. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take both. Eight more seconds here. Eight more seconds of work. All right. Good work. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Good. I really like Russian twists, which I'm glad you reminded me about them because I forgot about them. So. Good, good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good, good. It's great to incorporate old workouts that you may have, you know, learned about you know, months or years, you know, before, but starting to incorporate them again, and that's something fresh. And again, it's, you know, getting out of the norm, getting into things that, uh, you know, you may not have, you know, may not do. So it's always fun, always great to incorporate older workouts into your newer program. All right, 20 more seconds left, and we'll start from the top with lateral squats. Okay. Okay, 10 more seconds here and Sergeant Barry, remember, a great modification to lateral squats with the leg raise was just, it's just to keep out the leg raise. So we'll just do lateral squats from left to right. So we'll just go down lateral squat over to our left and then shift our weight over to our right leg. Nice, there we go. So we're keeping our torso, our shoulders nice and square, our heads looking forward, nice and neutral. If you looked at our looked at our profile position it would look just like this so we're shifting our weight here absorbing on our quads pushing off from our glute four more seconds here 
three, two, and time. Good job. All right. Half knee, single arm press. If you had a resistance band here, instead of a weight, we're gonna get down. Two, one, and let's work. Let me go ahead and modify my band here. All right, really extend at the top, nice and controlled, yes ma'am. There we go. Did you notice I color coded my water bottles today? <laughs> I did, they look great. Yeah, you gotta be stylish when you're working out. They, <laughs> they sure are. All right, and time. I need to step up my water bottle game, but <laughs> you know what? I, I have aqua hydrate and smart water to take care of me. So we're doing pretty good here. <laughs> All right, eight, eight more seconds of rest here and we'll go into our bent over row. Again, I'm gonna go with the dumbbell here. All right. I'm Single impressed me. by your color coordinated water bottles. I'm really impressed by that. <laughs> <laughs> it took me all morning to figure out how to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a trip over to our uh, exchange and look for some really nice colorful water bottles for my next workout here. <laughs> all right, 15 more seconds left here. Feel that stretch at the bottom on your lat. Squeeze at the top, 90 degree bend here at the elbow. Nice. Very nice. And rest. Love your control. Love your control. Again, form over weight here. All right. Back into our Russian twist here. This workout is flying by. Wow. It is. It really is. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's go here. There we go. Twenty more seconds of work here. Russian twist is where we're at. Closing out our last set of round four. Four more seconds. And time, good work. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, way to put those water bottles to use. Again, if, you know, Sergeant Barry and I had water bottles to, to our, to our uh, inventory here, resistance bands. If you have dumbbells, you can add dumbbells for resistance to each one of these workouts that we did today to make things progress them a little more challenging. And if you, if you didn't need any weights, then that's perfectly fine as well. You know, do, do not include weights and, you know, just try and keep your body moving and really focusing on form and function. And um, yeah, again, uh, you know, uh, it's great to start Monday off so nice and strong. So I, I love these AM workouts. And if AM workouts fit in your, in your schedule, you know, get your workout earlier throughout the day. And then if, if things shift in your schedule, then that's all right, because you've had your your me time to work out, to focus on your health and your wellness before your day gets started. So. <laughs> and Roy, we had Catherine who said, I need to save this to watch these tips later. So absolutely, you don't have to, if you're at work or, or busy or not able to go through these live, absolutely that somebody could, these are designed so that they could come back later, right? And do them on their own. Absolutely. Um, you know, with Facebook, you're able to bookmark and save the videos for later. So that's just a, a great tip to be able to fit these workouts in, rewatch them and, and, and focus on each exercise at your pace, at your time, follow back along with us and, and go at your pace once again at a later time in the day or later day in the week. So absolutely. Excellent. Those there, I don't see um, any questions right now. 
Good. Uh, okay. Do you have anything to add or Sergeant Barry, do you, any final words from either of you? Um, you know, again, I just like to remind everyone that, you know, workout, working out is just half the battle. You know, it's, it's, it's nutrition. It's, it's, you know, food preps and, and planning in advance. Um, if you're at any one of our installations, you know, head over to our food courts at our exchange restaurants where there's 1700 plus exchange restaurants that, that are available to you that you can visit, surf their menu, and each one of them have uh, better for you options. So if you're, you know, watching your carbs, if you're trying to intake more protein, um, you know, less fats, uh, less uh, salt, anything like that, uh, each one of our uh, restaurants will have better for you options. So go ahead and visit the exchange restaurants and, you know, they'll, they'll take care of you. Uh, you know, when I've been in, uh, you know, on the go, you know, and, and I'm at, and, and I'm at one of our facilities, I'll go ahead and visit and, and basically, you know, tailor whatever I need for that day. Uh, you know, I'm able to get it at our restaurants. You know, if, if you're on the go again, and if you're looking for smart snacking options, visit our express where we have a healthier choices program where each one of our items are tagged on the express shelves that make it so much easier and so simple for you to, you know, pick up uh, fruits or nuts, um, you know, meat snacks, veggies, water, uh, any, anything like that. Healthier Choices program, which is in our BFIT program. And, you know, it, it makes things a lot easier for us to just grab and go on the run. So to, to make our lives easier, to make uh, you know, our fitness goals a lot easier, you know, we're here for you. So definitely, you know, visit the Express and the Exchange. Excellent. Sergeant Barry, anything from you? No, How thanks you again for a fantastic workout. Um, thanks for the viewers at home for working up a sweat with us. We definitely it and let's start this week, huh? I know I'm always energized after a workout, so <laughs> <I'm> excited. <laughs> Absolutely. And you did so great. So I'm, you know, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, people's feedbacks on working out with us, join us, work out with us. We're here at 11 AM every Monday. So, you know, come, you know, put on your gear, put on your shoes, get some water and, and let's get ready to work. So again, I invite you come, come join us. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Take care you guys. All right. Bye. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Sergeant Barry. Bye. Thank you. Bye.